Service members also paying their respects to the senator. He was the son and grandson of U.S. Navy admirals and a fierce advocate for veterans. KCAU 9 Washington correspondent Bree Jackson has more. We went toe to toe. Uh, in opposition to each other. Veteran Will Fisher says his organization, Vote Vets, didn't always see eye to eye with Senator John McCain on the Iraq War and other issues. Of what the future of the VA looked like, you know, we had real disagreements. But despite those differences, Fisher says McCain was always respectful and worked to improve services and programs for American veterans and active duty military. Senator McCain was a former Navy pilot and prisoner of war who was himself tortured as a POW in North Vietnam. Because of that background, Fisher says McCain was not afraid to take on his own party on controversial issues like waterboarding and other so-called enhanced interrogation tactics. In terms of being opposed to torture because it runs just so counter to the ideals of human solidarity. Flags on Capitol Hill are now at half staff in honor of Senator John McCain. Earlier this year, Congress passed and the president signed the John McCain 2019 National Defense Authorization Act. The bill was named in honor of McCain by his colleagues in the Senate. One of them, Democratic Senator Tim Kaine, said in a statement, John has urged us to listen to each other. May we be wise enough to follow his example. I think there's a real lesson for politics in 2018 to be found there. Fisher hopes lawmakers from both parties follow McCain's lead and continue to work together for the good of America's military. In Washington, Bree Jackson.